Okay, balancing redox reactions in acidic solution part two. We're going to assign our oxidation states. Both elements are neutral, so they get a zero. Hydrogen is a plus one, oxygen negative two. Two to two is four, three. Arsenic is a plus three. Oxygen undergoes reduction and arsenic undergoes oxidation. Now we'll write out half reactions. Remember the electrons are added to the left because zero oxidation state is higher than a negative two. And we add electrons to the right side because a plus three oxidation state is higher than the zero. The number of electrons that have transferred from zero to negative two is two electrons times two oxygens, so that's four electrons transferred total. From zero to plus three, that's a difference of three electrons. Now we have to balance the number of electrons. Here we're going to multiply times three, and here we're going to multiply times four. So when I distribute this three, that becomes a three. Three times four is twelve. 3, distribute the 4, and now my electrons are both balanced. I'm going to write the num new coefficients back up into the original reaction. We'll put a 3 here. This 4 means I'll put a 4 here. I'll put between 3 and 4, I have to decide which one to place in front of here. You always have to choose the value that's higher, so we're going to go with the 4. Now we'll rewrite our reaction. And now to balance the oxygens and the hydrogens. We'll start with oxygen. On the left side we have six oxygens. On the right side we have four of two is eight oxygens. The reason I can proceed is because four arsenics, four arsenics, the masses of everything other than hydrogen and oxygen are already balanced. So I need to add two more hydrogens, I'm sorry, oxygens on the left side. So we'll add two waters to balance the oxygen. And now I'm going to balance the hydrogens. On the left side we have two times two is four hydrogens. And on the right side, we have four hydrogens. Since they're already balanced, this is completed. And our final answer is written below. Assigning oxidation states, we get a negative 2. 2 to 3 is 6, 5. This has to be plus 5. This is neutral, so it's 0. 2 to 3 is 6, 5. Oxygen is negative 2. 2 to 2 is 4, so plus 4. I have a change in oxidation from nitrogen. This is the reduction. And then my iodine undergoes oxidation. Now we'll write our half reactions. Add the electrons to the left side because the oxidation of plus five is higher up than plus four. Add the electrons to the right side because the plus five oxidation is higher than zero. Because we have a 2 here, means we have to also place a 2 here to balance the iodines before we proceed. Now you determine how many electrons have transferred. From 5 to 4, it's a transfer of just one electron. Here we go from 0 to plus 5. That's a transfer of 5 electrons per iodine. 5 times 2 is going to equal 10 electrons transferred. So... I'll have to multiply the top reaction times 10 in order to balance the electrons. 
that gives me 10, 10, 10. And now that my electrons are balanced, I can write my new coefficients in the equation. So here we'll put a 10 in front of I2, nothing in front of I plus 5. We'll put a 2 because of this. And then we'll place our 10 here. So our new equation is going to be Now we're going to balance the oxygens and the hydrogens after verifying the masses of our other elements. 10 nitrogen, 10 nitrogen, 2 iodines, 2 iodines. So on the left hand side I have 30 oxygens and on the right hand side we have 10 times 2 is 20 plus 2 times 3 is 6 so 26 oxygens which means we need 4 more oxygens on the right hand side. So we're going to add four waters. Check our hydrogens. We have 4 times 2 is 8 hydrogens on the right, so we need to add 8 hydrogens on the left. and you'll find below our final answer. All right, iron is neutral, hydrogen plus one, chloride minus one, hydrogen plus one, chloride minus one. One times four is negative four, three, and this will be neutral. So our iron undergoes oxidation and our hydrogen undergoes reduction. Now we'll write our half reactions. We're going to add the electrons to the right hand side because plus three is a higher oxidation state than zero. And we'll add the electrons to the left side here because plus one is a higher oxidation state than zero. Because of this 2 right here means we have to place a 2 here. We have a total transfer of from 0 to plus 3, 3 electrons. And then here we go from 1 to 0, which is a change of 1 electron for each hydrogen. And 1 times 2 is going to equal 2 electrons transferred. Now we're going to balance and we'll multiply this times 2 and this times 3 in order to balance our electrons. This distributes 2 times 3 will equal 6. 3 times 2 will equal 6. Now we can place our coefficients back up in the original reaction. We get a 2 here. This tells me to place a 6 here. This means I'll place a 2 here and this means I will place a 3 here. So our new reaction looks like this. going to make sure that the elements are balanced. We have two irons, two irons, six chlorines, two to four is eight chlorines. So we're actually going to make a modification now to balance the chlorines. Because I have eight chlorines on the right, we're going to change this to an eight to balance the chlorines on the left. Now I can balance the hydrogens and oxygens. There are no oxygens to balance, so I will skip to the hydrogens. And we'll notice that on the left side we have 8 hydrogens, and on the right we have 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8 hydrogens. So because we have an equal number of hydrogens already, this is balanced as it is.
So below is our final answer. Oxygen is negative 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 5. This is hydrogen peroxide, which is an exception. Hydrogen is going to be plus 1. 1 times 2 is a positive 2, so that makes this a negative 1, because negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Plus 2 minus 2, cancel. So now we find that our reduction occurs with the nitrogen and our oxidation occurs from this oxygen to the neutral oxygen and this is because this oxygen stayed negative two before and after so we want we are concerned with what oxygens changed before and after so we're going to go with the negative one and the zero in this scenario Okay, we add the electrons to the left here because plus 5 is a higher oxidation state than plus 2. And we add the electrons to the right here because 0 is a higher oxidation state than the negative 1. Let's determine the number of electrons that have transferred. From plus 5 to plus 2 is a difference of 3 electrons. From 1 to 0 is a difference of 1 electron for each oxygen and 1 times 2 equals 2 electrons transferred. Now we can balance. This will be times two, this will be times three. And now we'll distribute. Now we'll have the equal number of electrons. I can place my coefficients back mm -hmm. into the original equation. Here we'll get a two, here we'll get a three. Here we'll get a 2, and here we'll get a 3. The new equation will look like this. Make sure that your masses are balanced, all but hydrogen and oxygen. So we have two nitrogens on the left, two nitrogens on the right. So oxygens, I have 2 times 3 is 6, plus 3 times 2 is 6, so that's 12 oxygens on the left. 3 times 2 is 6, 7, 8. Only 8 oxygens on the right. So we need to add 4 more oxygens on the right. So we'll do that by adding 4 waters. Now we'll balance our hydrogens. On the right we have 8 hydrogens. And on the left we have 3 times 2 is 6 hydrogens. So we need to add 2 more hydrogens on the left. So, plus 2H plus. And below is going to be what our final answer should look like.